everybody, I'm back with another unboxing, and today we have something a little bit different today. Um, this unboxing came in a plain box. Um, I never actually heard of this company before. Uh, this is an L doll, and it's the Mermaid Princess. I do have two Mermaid Princesses to unbox on this channel. Um, I don't know which one is which, but they're, they're 11 and a half inch fashion dolls, and this is brand new. I don't know if it's new to the market or just new to me. Um, I've only ever seen them for sale on Amazon so far. Uh, but I've never actually looked in anywhere other than the big box stores for them. Apparently it's, I don't know if it's ball jointed or just really articulated. But I'm going to go ahead and get some scissors. I'm going to get this box opened up and we're going to see what's inside. Hopefully it's something as good as it looked on, on Amazon. So I have the box open, and the first thing we have inside the box here, it looks like she's in a bag inside, and there's a little bit of a, there's a little card here. We're going to take a look at that. And the card here shows um, multiple other girls on here. And to be fair and honest with you, I have all of them up for review, except for this girl over here, and this fairy, which if I like the dolls, I may end up ordering later on. Um... It looks like um, LDoll.com is where you can go, and they also have an eBay shop, an Amazon shop, and an Instagram. So they're a little bit of an underdog, I guess, company, but we'll just see how good their dolls are. I think I paid about $23, I think, for the, each of these. Maybe $12, I don't know, but so far I'm loving her. Let's just get her set up here. Okay, I'm not even sure what to say. She's got purple hair. Look how long her hair is. Look how long and luscious. I think it's rooted. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's rooted. So it's not a wig. That's okay. Uh, she has a beautiful face. She has um, thin brown, eye um, brown eyebrows. And she also has, if you guys can see that, if it's showing up... Hmm, if it's going to show up at all on my camera here. She has a light... Come on. Come on, focus. She has a light pink eyeshadow on the top, and then she has some brown liner on the bottom. Her eyelashes on the top are actually lashes. They are rooted lashes, and then the, the bottom of them are painted on. And she has glass inset eyes that are brown, so that's beautiful. And then she has um, kind of a metallic -y, uh pink uh, lipstick. Her chin sculpt, she has kind of a pointy chin. It's really pretty. She has a light complexion. Um, let's see. I love her bathing suit. It's very... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, metallic-y type? And it's got a scale. Scaling that goes all the way down. Uh, Velcro snaps in the back for both the top and the bottom. Uh, her, her mermaid suit is removable, and I think she has regular feet on the inside. So let's go over her articul articulation now. Uh, her head... Looks, her head's a little bit more squishier than her body. Uh, it goes back and forth, and I don't think it goes up and down. It goes back and forth. Um, her arms go up and down and out. And then her elbows bend to the joint. And then her wrists bend. So she has wrists, elbows, and they go back and forth here. So a lot of posability in the arms. Uh, looks like she doesn't have... Does her... Oh, I think her wrist... Hmm. So funny thing is, I think her top half and her bottom half are completely separate pieces. But they, but uh, she doesn't have articulation there. It's just separated. She does have articulation in her legs and in her knees. So the posability is very nice here. And I think that her feet... Okay, uh, alright, um, they, she doesn't have ankle joints, no, but, um, I could take her, I think I can take her, her bottom off so I can show you her legs and her feet. Alright, so she has built on underwear, so I was not, I'm not really too bad about, of exposing her in, her insides, so that, that's the type of joint she has, so it goes up and down, and then her knees bend, and then, um, she has pointed feet, which are really, she has really small pointed feet. Um, her body is a bit hollowish. It's very light. Um, I don't hate it. 
She has a little bit of a marks here, but this is not really going to be exposed to anything anyway. Um, I overall really enjoy this doll. Um, for her price point, I think she was about, I think she was about $12.99. So for her price point and all the articulation that she's got going on, and the fact that she's a mermaid and her long-rooted hair, that's really done nicely. And, um, this fabric is really nice as well. We have about three different types of fabrics that are on here, and everything is sewn up with a nice seam. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't hate this doll. In fact, I think I would collect more of them. Which is good because I have another mermaid to review <laughs> for you guys soon. Um, but I, um, yeah. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Comment below and let me know what, how you feel about these dolls. I think I will be reviewing more. I'm pretty excited about them. <laughs> Bye guys.